Hello YouTube, welcome back. Um, let's talk EDC Everyday Carry. Little update for you all. Got some new things down the line. So let's start with some of the fun stuff. Let's start with some of the stuff that I use every day and actually some new stuff that I am trying. So I don't want to give anything away. Um, for the watch, so this watch I got off of Amazon. I forgot the name of it. It's uh, Olives. All, olives. I, don't, I can't remember. Um, I love Roman numerals. Um, as you could tell, I love Roman numerals. Um, what's cool is that it shows you like throughout the hours of the day. It tells you when it's moon or, or sun. As you could tell right now, it's nighttime. Um, obviously, it has the date. It's getting close to midnight, so everything's changing. Um, it's got some second timers, resets, stuff like that. Um, the band itself actually was handmade by a girl on Etsy in Hungary, um, which I actually thought was really cool. The watch that came with it, unfortunately, was not the greatest and kind of crapped out. Um, so I end up finding this watch on Amazon and then I just put it on here. I do have a couple other watches, but this is the one I mainly wear every day. Um, I also have a fossil, which I have to change the battery in and I have a citizen, but that's a longer story. So that's, that's the watch. Um, keys, I'll just go over that really fast. So I use a titanium carabiner. You can get these off of Amazon. Um, what I like about it is that when you pull it back, it just goes for your pant, but it doesn't pull back all the way so everything falls off. You have to really pull it back, and then you could take off your keys, but they stay nice and organized down here. The main reason I wanted to show this, though, is for this. If you are like me and you have kids, oops, this is the rescue me and mine is very beat up i'm actually gonna think about getting a new one um but what i love about these is they have the glass breaker in here which is the push glass breaker so all you have to do is push and then it pops out um and it's got the seatbelt cutter i have two kids who are in five point harnesses so the last thing i want to do if there's an emergency i want to worry about is can i get my kids out and obviously every other seatbelt is necessary, but this to me is uh, necessary on anybody in general, but um, definitely if you have kids, I highly recommend this. Even if you never use it in your entire lifetime, they're not that expensive. I think these are like around 10 bucks a piece. You can get them at Walmart. You know, they're obviously mine is really old, but you can, you can get these anywhere. Um, absolutely awesome <clears throat> for my in pocket flashlight and that gives a little hint away from later um i have a phoenix ld02 this is a single triple a flashlight um what's cool about it is that um you know what? i'm gonna shut off the light here and shut off that light okay so let me let me shut off the light behind me there we go. Okay. So this is the, so they have a, what they call a moonlight mode. Now it's going to look brighter on the camera, but this is like a moonlight mode. Um, as you can see, it's very, it's nice if it's dark, you know, if it's really dark and you just want to see something small and then they have different modes, next mode, next mode, next mode, which is actually fairly bright. And then it goes back to the moonlight mode. Uh, simple backspace here. Watch your eyes. Got to turn on the lights. Doop. And bloop. <clears throat> um, simple push button. I leave this one in my pocket because it's, it's skinny. It's easy. It's a uh, single AAA. So you could just easily change out the AAAs. Um, I think Phoenix lights don't get enough love. Um, they're absolutely amazing. They're very rugged. I've had this one for a while now, at least a good year. And it's, you know, I change out the batteries here and there, but I absolutely love it. Um, for the in-pocket 
uh, pen, tactile turn pen, uh, bolt action. So this is all titanium. Um, you know, I just obviously empty or uh, replace the cartridges when needed. I got my name on there. Um, absolutely love this pen. It's It's got some weight to it. It's a full-size pen, but um, whenever I'm at work or I'm doing anything, it's nice to have a full-size pen in my pocket, which is weird because I'll get into that in a minute. Um, for the, I still got still use my Ultex guitar picks, which is, this is Ultim. So everybody in the EDC world who um, loves or hates Ultim, this is, this is Ultim. So um, I use those guitar picks all the time. For handkerchiefs, still using the Mighty Hank, still got it with the, um, I, I don't know why, I just love that traditional look. Um, for the wallet, I mean, right now I'm using a couch wallet. Um, as you can see, my driver's license got a little bit of cash in there. I try to keep it very minimal. Uh, my credit card, I, I keep it very minimal. This is supposed to be off a um, a car. Couch recycles old cars, um, and they use them for guitar straps, wallets. I got my wife has a camera strap. I have um, one, two, three four guitars with guitar straps on them. I got extra, I got more guitar straps too, but, um, and then I use obviously their wallet. Um, it feels really good. It's not too bulky in the pocket. It's very slim. I put it in my front pocket cause I, I don't like to rear pocket, um, in my back pocket. I don't like to put a wallet in anymore. Helps with the posture for the knife. Um, this is a little bit of a change here and there um, because when I was, one of my jobs that I was at, I was constantly cutting open boxes left and right, cutting open straps and everything. And I was dulling out knives like crazy. So I got a S90V Spyderco and this thing was a uh, amazing. I was going through boxes like nothing. It was lasting the entire day. Uh full titanium. Uh you guys seen it on the channel before. Uh since then, um I obviously switched jobs and it's that's even a longer story. Um I actually went back to the Benchmade Bug Out, which I know is a very controversial knife. Um, I've made comments on the channel before about it, but you know what? Um, I love the Benchmade bug out, honestly. I, I know it's got flex to it. People love it or hate it. I love the ambidextrous lock. That's safe. The S30V on this blade is done right. It drops back really easily. It lasts a long time for edge retention. Um... It just, it's a solid knife. It works well. It's great. Um, I have, I mean, granted, I know the scale's flex, but you know what? I've gone through cardboard and everything else with these, with this knife. And, uh, you know, you feel a little flex. It's, it's not the end of the world. Um, but I haven't been carrying that one as much because I also have the, Protec Malibu, which I love this knife. Um, I love the USA made. I love the aluminum scales. I love, you know, the button lock. I love the 20 CV on it. I like the shape of the blade. Nice and easy for cutting. Um, great knife. Very slim. Um, nice and easy in and out of the pocket. The only complaint I have is obviously this flipper is a little excessive, but it's not the end of the world. It's not like it would make or break the knife for me. Um, and honestly, it's not that bad in the pocket. You don't really notice it at all. But the number one knife I've actually... So I kind of switch out those a little bit. But the number one knife I've been carrying and almost carrying religiously is the uh, Blade HQ exclusive Benchmade Bug Out. Um, this one is in 20 CV with the the coated blade um and the g10 handles which the g10 handles are so much sturdier in my opinion 
Um, and the weight on these is not that much better. I mean, it's not that much worse, honestly. I think it's about the same. I mean, listen to that. I mean, the acoustics on this knife is actually really great. I love the clip. I mean, there's not much negative to really say about this knife. The 20 CV is lasting a long time. I haven't even had to sharpen this knife because of how well the edge retention is on this 20 CV. I don't know what they did with this knife, but this has been my main knife that I've been carrying in my pocket. Every once in a while, I'll switch out to the other ones, but weirdly, I feel naked when I don't have that knife. Um, now, this is the new part for me. And this is what I'm actually, I'm actually really excited about this. Um, oh my goodness, it doesn't even fit. So I am testing out something new and ooh, I got some, I was doing some work earlier and stuff, but I have made a, uh, I guess a bum bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, right. This is from MTAC. It's, it, 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 they're like 20 bucks, I think on Amazon, if I remember right. It's nothing special, but I wanted to try it and see if it was something that I wanted to carry. So in here, I have a ton of stuff. So we'll go over the main pocket first. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do let's do back, front to back. So the front pocket really doesn't have a lot of stuff. Um, it's got a titanium scraper. So what it is is that you I I put my either one or two fingers. Oh. Where are you guys going? Where are you going? I'll try to see if I can edit that out if I if I can. Uh, sorry about that. Anyways, <clears throat> so I put one to two fingers um, in the lanyard, and then I put this finger right inside this hole, my thumb right there, and then this is a nice titanium sharpened edge. It's not very sharp, but it's enough sharp that if I need to do some scraping or some other things, it works very well. Um, you cannot get these. I also have a skinnier version that is really just for straight up scraping. Um, I have another one that's actually a little bit sharper. Uh, this one doesn't have the hole in it, so uh, this one's just straight. I just hold it when needed. Uh, you could also use it as a self-defense tool if you really put it in your in your pinky, you know. And then I keep a small file on me because you never know. I've been in a situation. So this bag will obviously go with me when I'm out and about, but also to work. So when I need extra stuff. Um... Let's see. In here, the main pocket, this is where it gets interesting. So in the mesh part in the front, currently right now I have the REC River's Edge Cutlery uh, Band-Aid thing. So there's Band-Aids in here. I have, like I've said before, I have four small kids or four boys in general, but I got two small ones and two bigger ones that still get hurt. Uh, sight savers, um, you can use them on your phone, computer, whatever, you know, just to give it a little extra clarity, cleanliness, uh, chapstick. I always use medicated if needed, but you can use chapstick for a bunch of other things. Um, I'm going to get some medication stuff like other little things, but, uh, I also want to keep, I also keeping, uh, some toenail clippers or nail clippers, uh, these ones have the file and that you can take out, you know, you could kind of use this for splinters as well. You can use this for a few different things, but, um, yeah, I, I would say toenail clippers are, are a nice thing to have. Um, try to keep them maintained. That's in the mesh pocket in the main pocket. When you have small kids, having something to wipe their nose is, <laughs> sometimes more necessary than you realize uh, I have a compass that I keep on me um, I know you can use your watch as a compass but in my opinion it's not the if I could fit it which I can it's not the worst idea to have a compass um, having a wrench uh, some type of adjustable wrench um, comes in way more needed necessary than I realize um, 
the wife once got stranded in a parking lot at Home Depot and I had to go and get a new battery for the car. And sure enough, I needed one of those and I didn't have it on me. So that's why that's in there. Um, and right now in the main slots, I have a lighter because I always feel like you should have a way of making a fire if necessary. There's two pockets back here. I don't have anything in there right now. I may change that up a bit. Um, I also have a, another flashlight, the Phoenix um, E28R V2. So the V2 allows you to clip this on your hat. It's a good size where it's not too over the top. Um, so I got the hat clip on here. I also have a magnetic clip on here. So if I take my knife and then see, it's got a magnet on the back. So, which to me is great. So if I have, if I'm working on a car and I can't see, just magnetize it to the, the car. Um, it's got a USB-C charging port, which is great. And then it's got the flashlight. Um, so if you click it once, it tells you how the battery is. So the battery is good right now. If you click it twice, it tells you that it's locked out. So that's locked. If you double click it again, it's on. So that's the low mode and it goes all the way through, obviously. Um, if you hold it for a second, Goes with stroll mode. Sorry, I should have warned you. Um, the battery is right in there. It's a rechargeable battery, obviously. Um, yeah, if you hold it for a second, it goes to that stroll mode for self-defense purposes. So you can blind if somebody's trying to get at you. And, and I, in situations I've been in, I don't feel like you need more than just to be blinded. Um, I carry a backup knife in here instead of in my pocket. I have the NAFS Lander in the 14C28N. The reason why I put this in here is because it is an inexpensive knife compared to other some other knives. It's not that inexpensive, but it's inexpensive enough where um, if it breaks, it's not the end of the world. But 14C28N is actually a very tough steel very easy to strap back, very easy to um, use. I've actually did the review on it. It was It's a great knife, but I keep that in here. And then right now, because I actually really like it, is this SOG um, or SOG. This is actually probably one of my, <laughs> one of my favorite EDC gears. Um, <clears throat> it's a whistle for safety, you know, if you're, if you get lost in the woods. Okay, there's a whistle. There is a fire start. There's a uh, piece of steel, a uh, serrated piece of steel. Okay, oops. There's a serrated, so that's obviously great. There is a ferro rod in here, which you can actually turn this around. And then you have a nice handle, obviously. And then you can strike, strike it with the steel. Um, What's cool is the ferro rod, ferro rod is also screwed in. So if that ferro, ferro rod ever breaks or has an issue, I can do that. Um, so let me just screw all that back in. And then obviously in the tip is a dual function as well. Um, it has a glass breaker. So if the other one fails or I can't find it, I can always hit with this. Um, and then in the front is actually a little piece of steel wool to help start a fire, which is great. Um, so this thing has, you know, I know people are up and down about SOG, you know, because some of their stuff is not always the best, but this thing, well worth it. I don't recommend putting on this. I've heard people losing it, but that's just, it is what it is. Um, behind here right now, which like I said, it's not 100%. Um, I have my Leatherman Surge which has a bunch of stuff on it. Um, I have some electrical tape, which I may put the electrical tape in here. That actually works nicely. Um, with the Leatherman Surge, I also have the optional saw blade that's in here. 
which is very cool. Um, I can put that in if needed. Um, and then what I have here um, is, and I'm, I'm thinking about changing this out. I'm not sure because it's kind of bulky. I know uh, compared to the rest of the stuff, I know. Um, this is uh, the Weeha bits. Um, so I have all the torque bits I would need to work on a knife, whether it's my knife or if it's something else. Uh, I have obviously all the numbers are there. So six, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then 10. Um, those are the main ones for knives. Um, I like this driver bit too, because I have this, which this was something inexpensive a, a job gave me and it came with this little thing but it's all plastic but the cool part is is that it has this retractable thing where i have uh you know ph zero one and two phillips heads and then whether you call them flat heads or standards i don't know it's up to you but i have three different sizes of those as well so those stay nicely in there those stay nicely in there and then i have some Torx bits and everything else if needed. Obviously the, the um, <clears throat> what's it called? The uh, Leatherman has the torque uh, or has the interchangeable bit option, but which I might look into those. I haven't looked into it. That's what I had right now. So, um, and then in the back, um, right now I have a sharp, two Sharpies, red and red and black. Um, Red, obviously, for more dangerous stuff. Black, because, you know, you never know. And then I carry a uh, ref Refine pen. Uh, it's also a titanium pen with the bolt action. It is smaller than the... It's smaller than the tactile by a lot. People are like, why don't you put this in your pocket? I, well, I, I like the tactile a little bit. This one's comfortable for doing quick stuff if you need it, but it's not the best and then right now i have this for a book for notes um i may get the field notes because one it's lighter and uh nice and compact so that goes in the back and then uh this could be worn as either a fanny pack or around the shoulder which i'm using around the shoulder so yeah i'm actually really excited about trying that out um i'm very excited about my general EDC gear I think it, it's I think it works for me very well obviously there's some things I highly recommend in it some things that possibly could be better but honestly it's not the end of the world um, I was thinking about adding a leather strop so this is it's on a metal base plate it's not the greatest so I may add this in there or not I don't know um but yeah that's my current adc uh, i'm actually very excited about oh almost forgot the guitar pick okay guys tell me what if you have something similar tell me if you're interested in trying something like this let me know what you think down in the comments um let me know if there's something you think i should do that's better let me know if you think there's something that's better um Take care, guys. Enjoy yourselves. Stay safe. It's 2024. Um, let's have a good year this year. Take care, guys. Bye.